so uh, actually I started uh, the presentation uh, by explaining, uh, by giving actually a brief uh, definition of the business uh, analytics. Okay, so business ac analytics actually correspond to interactive reports that analyze your data from various aspects and keeps you informed about all activities within your platform. So you understand that business analytics are meant to help you figure out which project management aspects of your company can be improved and therefore it will help you make decisions about your business and your staff. So I propose to show you now the different information you can obtain thanks to business analytics. Okay, so I am now connected to my WordB platform and to reach the business analytics option just need to pass my mouse over the My Company tab and here you see business analytics. And you can click on this arrow here to display the whole list of business uh, analytics. So you can see that this list can be divided into three uh, categories. Projects, orders and suppliers. And um, let's say uh, that I want to see the translation volume that my translators performed in 2012, for instance. So I can click on suppliers, translation volume, and here under select period, I can select uh, 2012. Well, actually I am mentioning 2012 because uh, the data we have on this platform are real data that one of our clients allowed us to use and they refer to the year 2012. And uh, let's say that we want to display the results for the, the whole year. So here we can select full year. Okay, so we can see the total, um, the total number of jobs okay that were completed in 2012 the total number of documents segments words and characters and here uh, on the right you can see averages so you can see that um, an average uh, number of document per job so actually there is a, a little more than one document uh, per job. You can also see the average segments per document, the average words per segment, and the average characters uh, per word. Uh, and you can see that business analytics allows you to see graphics. Okay, in blue the jobs and in red the documents. And you can see here different information. So you can click on segments to see the, the total number of segments along the period. Okay, you can choose words, characters. Uh, job duration and you can see for uh, example uh, that half or of our uh, jobs were completed in three days it took three days to to complete half of the jobs okay and again you can see averages on the right you can also click on volume per day, uh, for example, and and this is uh, really interesting because, for example, here you can see that the assigned volume is 420 words per day because uh, we have said, so as project manager, I've, I've said that, okay, my translators, they can they can translate 420 words per day 
and I calculated uh, the deadline according to, to, to this number. Okay, and I realized that actually my translators, they can translate uh, 765 words per day. So maybe I'm gonna reduce the deadlines. Okay, instead of six days, for instance, I can say, okay, my translator, he can complete the job in four days. This is an example of uh, information that are really interesting uh, for you as project manager. Okay, so these are general information. And if you scroll down a little, you can see information per supplier. Okay, and if we take the example of the vendor 47, uh, for instance, uh, we can see that we have assigned a lot of a lot of jobs to this supplier because he has translated uh, thirty six thousand and sixty hundred sixty six words. Okay, so a, a lot of translations, and he only uh, completed, uh, let's say, an average of 70% uh, of his jobs on time. Okay, that's why maybe the trend for uh, this vendor is negative. So by seeing this, maybe I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to assign less jobs to the supplier and more to the suppliers that deliver their, their jobs on time and that received less, less jobs, less words to translate. So again, this is really uh, important information that this tool allows me to, to analyze. And this way I can take, I can take decisions in order to, to improve my results. Uh, you can also display the reactivity. Uh, so we can see that 568 jobs uh, were uh, accepted within 30 minutes, which is uh, really, really good. And again, if we scroll down, we can see we can see the different vendors, and actually we can filter by vendor. So let's take again the example of vendor 47. If I click on filter, I can display the information of this vendor only. Here I can see filter vendor 47. And what I can see is that this vendor accepted 14 jobs within 30 minutes, which is, which is good. And I can also see that it took more than two days for this vendor uh, to actually start two jobs. Okay, so you can display a general information for a, given, for a given period, and you can also uh, filter here by vendor, for instance. Simply click on filter next to the vendor for which you want to see the, the different uh, information. Uh, let's take the example of other informations. If I select projects leveraging rates. This is also very interesting. So I can see that for a lot of projects, there are no leveraging. Okay, so maybe I have uh, a problem of translation memories. If I select, for instance, pre-translated versus volume, I will scroll down a little. Uh, 
well, we can see that we have a lot of free translations for low volume projects. Okay. Um, and for high, yeah, what? Well, yes. We have a lot of pre translation for low volume projects and just a few pre translations for high, uh, high volume projects. So, what is the problem? Uh, does it correspond to large uh, documents which content is really new? Or should I reorganize uh, my linguistic resources? Maybe I have organized my uh, translation memories per domain and it would be more relevant for me to uh, organize them per, uh, per client, for instance, or per type of document. So with this, with, uh, this information, I can really take decisions. So again, very, very important. And finally, I would like uh, to show you information regarding uh, the managers. So I can select orders and managers. So here I can see the total orders for the period. And I can see that the, resp the response time, it's 3.9 hours. So it corresponds to hours from reception to proposal. Okay, which is not, which is not bad, but I would like to, to improve these results. Okay, and I can see that the trend for the period is negative. I'm receiving less uh, and less projects. Maybe because the response the response time is is bad. Okay, for this for this manager, for instance, Jose is receiving more and more orders to manage, and I can see that his response time is actually bad. So maybe my decision for the future would be to assign less, uh, less orders to manage to this uh, project manager and more to the ones that actually have a good response time, like this manager, Evelyn, for instance, who answers in less than an hour and to whom I'm assigning less and less orders because the trend uh, in 2012 is really negative. So really by seeing this information I realized that I should change things. And uh, finally, uh, I would like to, to mention that uh, the business analytics uh, by default, only the administrator of the platform has access to this uh, information. But as the administrator, uh, you can modify the access rights uh, for, let's say, managers. You want to allow the managers to have access to, these, uh, to this information. So what you can do is modify their access rights. And to do so, it's really simple. You can go on settings, access rights, and remember that only the administrator of the platform can access and modify the access rights. So you click on configure and you can select manager. Uh, click on edit. Look for business analytics. Here you can see that it is disabled, but you can enable. So the only question is, do you want to allow the managers to see all the reports, all the business analytics reports, or maybe only the one that concerns uh, suppliers? You want to allow them to see uh, the suppliers' reports, but not 
the one that concerns the managers. So you only tick this option, you scroll up and you validate the profile. And the profile will automatically apply to all the to all the managers. Okay, simply click on save. Well, thank you very much for attending this presentation. Uh, we have eight minutes left. So I'm going to open the question box and answer your questions. So do not hesitate. So you can write to me via the question box or even the chat box. It's no problem. Um, uh, do deadlines take into consideration uh, weekends? Um, I'm not sure to to understand the, the question. Really, it depends on your project um, on your project configuration. If you said that the deadline was on Saturday. then you should deliver on Saturday. Or for responses time, uh, no. Um, no, no, actually it's not, it's just a working days, only working days. Uh, I have a question. Does words mean no match or also includes fuzzy matches? Uh, could you be again more specific? Um, I guess. Uh, uh, well, yes, actually, words it, it corresponds to the number uh, of words that the translator has uh, translated or edited if it concerns a fuzzy pre-translation. So it's really all the, the, the words uh, that the translator has uh, entered and modified. Uh, can we filter on the type of projects, standard or uh, coded? This is a good question. Uh, let me check. <laughs> because right now, I don't have a clear answer. So company, business analytics. So projects, uh, clients, for instance. Mm. I'm looking for it. Uh, actually, I, I don't think so. Fortunately, here we speak uh, of projects regardless uh, of the type. Uh, let me reopen the question box. Uh, so I have a, a question regarding uh, the dates for the period. Uh, are they deadlines? Uh, well, again, I'm not sure uh, to understand, so I'm going to try to answer. 
Well, actually, it, here you just decide of a period. So you can select a year, for instance. You can select a month and a week in this month, or you can say, okay, I want to see the results uh, for 2012 and just Q1, for instance. And then Q2, and I want to compare Q2 and Q1 to see if my results are improving or not. If I'm receiving a more and more project, for instance, if my response time, if the response time of my manager is getting better, uh, if my uh, suppliers, uh, also if the response time of my suppliers is improving this kind of information. So I, I hope I answered the question. Well, if it's um, if my answers are not clear to you, do not hesitate to to send to me again your questions via email, and I will uh, answer them later on. So response time for project managers only uh, apply if the request was sent through the platform. Um, uh, well, uh, if you take into account orders, uh, managers, uh, yes, orders, um, orders correspond uh, to the orders that the client uh, place through the client portal. So, uh, in this case, uh, yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, th there is a good question. Uh, if I sent a job to a translator on December 2011 with a deadline in January 2012, will it appear in the statistics? Uh, well, I guess it will appear uh, in the statistics of 2012. I mean, the, the deadline information. Well, uh, that's a good question. I will really um, make some testing and uh, I will get back to you with, uh, with a proper answer. But according to me, it should be in the statistics of 2012. Um, well, I'm not uh, receiving any further question. Thank you, thank you very much for, for your attention. And again, if later on you have uh, more questions, do not hesitate to send them to me via email. Thank you very much. Have a great evening. Goodbye.